Hello everyone, this is James from 3D Printing Reviews uh, and welcome to the first video of 2017. Um, Happy New Year. Um, hopefully this year is going to be um, good for 3D printing for yourself, for me and for the community. Um, so today I'm actually going to start uh, a new series of videos um, all about the PrinterBot Metal Plus which is my main printer. Um, so this series of videos is actually going to be about modifying and upgrading the printing bot metal plus um, I've done a few modifications to mine already uh, I've got a few that I want to do throughout the year so actually the first few videos for this year are actually not really going to be um, anything's I'm not really going to be printing anything I'm going to be talking about the printers I've got the upgrades that we can do the upgrades that I've already done etc um, if you can see over my shoulder there, you can see that we've got the uh, N Fire One. Um, obviously, I'm waiting for the Kickstarter reward to turn up for that. So um, we've got no progress to make on that printer. So we're going to start on another one. Uh, so if I uh, head over to Thingiverse, we can have a look at um, what I like about Thingiverse is that you can um, create your own collections of stuff. So you can see here I've got a few different ones and I've got one specifically for the printer bot. So if I just talk about the the upgrades that I've currently done um, and I'll have a look at those we'll have a look at those in detail a bit later. So the upgrades that I've done so far are actually all been done by one person uh, and that's Richard at Spanner Hands. Uh, so that one we're going to be doing. So if we look at this one first, uh, printer bot printer bot metal plus wide foot so if we click on that you can see here these red um, prints here are basically feet that go on the bottom of the printer because um, the, the the metal plus is actually although it's a wide printer it's quite a narrow printer so and the bed moves backwards and forwards through the machine so this basically just helps keep the the, the printer steady uh, so we just have a close look at the pictures. As you can see, it's been designed really... Actually, I think this possibly is a remix. Um, yeah, so you can see here Richard has said, oh yeah, this was a... He loved the design that this person did for the simple metal. Uh, so he's adapted it for the, the Metal Plus, uh, which basically means having one on each side. Uh, this black part here is actually printed in a flexible filament so it's like a little damper a little foot so and then obviously Richard's got the the models to download as well so those I've already done so let's go back um, the next mod that I did or the mod yeah next modification I did another one of Spanahan's designs um, so this is basically a, a filament holder sort of arm that that you print two of and that sort of really clever clips onto the back of the the metal frame um, of the printer so again I've done that the the metal plus did come with has got a couple of options for mounting spools um, a ridge, when the first came out the the power supply um, unit has got a spool holder on but that's sort of in an awkward place because it sort of sits to the side of the printer so it doesn't really feed very well and then later on PrinterBot added um, uh, an attachment that you could buy that basically attached to the side of, of the printer which would be sort of um, in this area here which sort of hung over the printer and allowed you to hook a spool on uh, but this is a really clever idea um, and you can see that Rich is linked to another um, part, which I've also printed. And this basically is this this round part here. Um, you can see that he's added this to his Prusa Mark Three, Mark II. Um, and basically, what this is is a it's a round print that you put six or eight um, roller skate bearings on, roller board bearings, I should say. Um, 
and then the spool sits on this round pit here and just it's really smooth so that it cuts down on the dragging that may occur and even the small amount of drag that the, the extruder would do for the filament can cause a little bit of lift so that's really clever so that's another um, modification that I've made to my printer so we just go back a bit more um, now I my printer has the um, the Ubis 13S which is a um, I'm not sure if it's completely all metal hot end but it's a mostly all metal hot end or mostly metal hot end that Printerbot came out with um, and orig it's not it's not supplied with a uh, a heatsink fan, um, but a, a few people have said, "Oh, yeah, you should have a fan on." Some people have said you haven't. So um, this, let me just adjust that camera. There we go. Uh, so this uh, modification by Time Lapse Twenty One is just a small, um, and I've actually got it here, a small print that you can do that. Um, allows you to attach a 40 mil 12 volt fan and then that just clips onto the front of the the Ubis 13S so that's a, a uh, an upgrade that um, I do occasionally use if I'm doing a long print because um, the reason for a fan obviously is to stop heat creep um, and if you're only doing a print that's say an hour long it's not probably not going to do much use but if you're doing a say an eight hour plus print it can be of use to just add that fan on there so that's another um, modification I've done um, so the other modifications I've done or also include um, a new extruder arm which basically closes up the gap between the filament gear and the arm and that basically works for flexible filament so it stops it sort of getting wrapped and wrapped around there uh, so that one is another one I've done um, and also I mean, you can use this this collections thing just to add things in that you think you may want to print in the later stage um, I mean there's, there's models here for the printer bot metal plus as well as the other uh, printer bot I have so yeah so that's the modifications that I've done so far so let's have a look at those actually on the printer um, and then we'll talk about what we're going to do in the future okay so let's have a look at the, the prints that I just talked about on the screen there and have a look at the actual finished prints so as you can see here here are the feet that we had a look at um, I'll just focus in. So I decided that the, the upgrades that I were going to do to the, the printer bot metal plus I was going to do all in one colour um, just so it has sort of a, a uniform look. Um, so you can see here we've got the the feet and then the sort of the rubber or the flexible pad at the bottom and they just attach um, to the side of the printer in the existing holes that were there um, I've actually gone through and changed all of the, the screws that were with the Metal Plus to these to these ones because I just like the look of them better um, so yeah so we've got one on this side one on this side here so they really I mean, it's hard to tell let me just zoom out it's hard to sort of show what they do but it's a lot more sturdier than it was before so that's that uh, upgrade and if we come up here we can see our filament spool holder so that just basically if I can show you the actual design so you've got that um, small groove there and then there's a very small sort of um, part on the back there so basically what you do is you come at the front here and that clips in there and just pushes over and moves along 
uh, and then we've got the sort of the coaster bits that I spoke about at the top here. Just zoom in on those. There we go. So that's basically like I mean, it's supposed to have three in, um, but I've just gone with the, the two. Well, actually, I, I did have three, and then I broke one off. Um, but yeah, so that's really smooth. So the, the spool would sit on this bit here. And then you have one on each side, like so. Um, what else did we talk about? So we talk about the the arm on the extruder. Let me just zoom in a bit. So actually, I've got two... Um, Let me just switch this to manual focus. So we've actually got two um, upgrades here that I've printed. So if we look at the original arm, you can see that the there was a quite a large gap between the drive gear and the arm itself, or the the bearing on the arm. Um, but what this basically does is it closes that gap up a lot. So that the filament doesn't have a choice but to go um, around the path we set. So I've also used it in conjunction with this purple uh, ABS part, which uh, attaches over here and goes around the bottom. So this basically is completely enclosed, um, and there's a very small path that the filament can go. So that's basically for flexible filaments, and that works really well. So I'm really happy with that uh, upgrade that we did. Um, and then we just, I sort of had a remix of a of a part here as well. So I um, took the the sort of the mount that Richard designed for the spool holder, and then just made it wider for this. Let me take this off. And this is. Um, an action cam mount so you can see here that I've sort of basically replicated that part and extruded it wider and then on the front I've added the GoPro mount and then this was um, an arm that was available on Thingiverse which I printed and this basically does the same thing so clips into the back and then just pulls down and then locks into place. So that's uh, another upgrade that, or well not, not so much an upgrade, but an, uh, an addition. So yeah, so they're the parts that I just show you and have printed. Uh, I'm going to set the camera up now in on the tripod so I can actually show you some of the upgrades that we can do in the future. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, so here we are back again. Um, basically, what we're looking at here is the Ubus 13S hot end uh, and the well, mostly original drive um, extruder. Um, so the next upgrade that I'm going to do is to basically change all of this. We're going to upgrade the hot end to an E. E3D V6 all metal hot end. Um, we're going to upgrade this to an E3D Titan extruder. Uh, and at this point, I should say that I'm actually using um, one of the clone extruders off um, one of the Chinese websites um, purely because I'm just trying to save a little bit of money. If it doesn't work out, then I may. If it, you know, if the quality doesn't improve, I'm going to try the original Titan first because chances are the Chinese copy is not to the tolerances that E3D would have manufactured theirs. So, yeah, so sort of a disclaimer there. Uh, and I can actually show you. So, you've got. I can put that in the right place. So, you've got a few bags of bits that. 
came with the the clone extruder. So that's basically what that looks like. I mean, it's not got all the, the parts fitted, but I just wanted to show you what that looked like. So basically, what we're going to do is we're going to take this off. So we've got the stepper motor at the back here. Titan will go on the front. Uh, v sticks will go at the bottom here. Now we've got a couple of choices when it comes to um, Thingiverse designs for cooling the the part and mounting and etc etc. So if we look at um, Richards from Spanahans first, he's got a two part design which basically replaces. Um, I don't know if you can sort of visualise what I'm trying to show you there. So this part goes on the bottom here and attaches to these bearings. Um, and basically what, and then you have another part that sandwiches there on the other side. Um, so that would be where your probe would go for bed levelling. Um, this is a bit further back and this is where the, the air will come out to cool the part. And this actually uses a a 5015 blower fan um, and I, I, as you can tell I really like the designs that Richard comes up with and the mods he comes up with because he owns I think three of these three of these Metal Plus printers and he uses them for his hub his 3D hubs and he gets some absolutely fantastic prints out of his printer um, the only reason I'm considering another design is because Richard's design includes having to cut um, a part of the metal metal plus um, bodywork, if you like the the thing. It basically means this um, where this um, probe mounts, you have to cut off here, and then use this as a spacer. So you've basically got to cut a part of the um, bracket, and that's not easily going to be undone. Um, so that's one option and then another option is one I've seen that basically replicates and we'll have a look at it on screen in a second as well basically replicates the um, Prusa Mark II sort of design and what that will basically do we'll have the Titan extruder up here with the hot end underneath this then would go actually let me get out let me get the hot end out so we can have a look at it. So this is the V6 um, partially um, constructed. So basically what this part will do is it sits on here. Let me just put that on for you. So that sits, oh, doesn't actually sit there, it sits a bit lower. Uh, let me get that off. Okay, uh, now I've got to try and think which way around it goes. So it goes around that way. Um, and I know I'm not showing this on camera because it's a bit awkward to, to put together. There we go. Right, so that's what that would do. So it would fit like that. So you'd have your original 30mm fan from E3D. Um, it actually would sit, and I'll put that upside down. <laughs> this is very awkward to to show. So let me just try that again. Right, so it goes that way round with this sort of um, angle here. This would sit this way. No, it would sit that way round. Right, now I think we're right. Yeah, so it would go that way round uh, in the Titan extruder. Uh, there's, you then have, let me get the other fan parts out. Should have probably got these out before I started recording, but right, so uh, that's going to be that way round in the Titan extruder. You then have this small part which basically goes on the front here, like so. 
uh, with a blower fan pointing down like that. If I can show you that. So that's basically what that would do. My only concern with this design is whether it will fit on the actual printer. Uh, well, it'll fit on the printer, but what I mean is, um, so you'll have that hot end in there with the Titan. So you've got to have a bit of a bulk out the front here. Let me zoom out uh, and I can show you what I mean. I'm not sure whether it will fit at the extreme, whether there's too much bulk and it will hit onto this. So what I'm going to have to do between videos is sort of just have a mock up and see if it fits um, and then we can talk about that in the next video. So the next video is going to be looking at the hot end upgrade. Um, so let's cut here and we'll go back to the PC um, and we'll just have a look at some of the designs on screen and talk about what we're going to do. So I'll see you in a second. Okay so here we are back again. Um, so let's have a look at uh, Richard's design first. So as you can see here this is uh, the Metal Plus with the Titan extruder, the original from E3D. Uh, you've got your V6 on the bottom here, uh, V6 heatsink fan and then the probe that is, so this has got the standard uh, printer bot probe on. If we just move along the pictures here you can see here what I was talking about having to cut part of the bracket. So that's going to mean having to to cut the bracket, it's not easily going to be undone. Um, I know that I, I know this is a proven design. I know it works because, as you can see, there's a print from it. It's absolutely brilliant. So I've no worries about whether that it's going to work. I know it's going to work. I just like to try another design first, so that I can see if I haven't got to cut it. So. That's Richard's design. Tells you about um, how to print it, etc. The fan that you'd need, the hardware that you'd need to fit it. So that's really good. If we just go back, we'll have a look at the the other one. So this is the E3D fan with the integrated layer fan. So it's basically sort of a a cl not a clone. It's a uh, an interpretation of the Prusa Mark II design. Um, so basically that that's what it would look like so you've got your fan for the heat sink here um, and then you've got your cooling fan here so I you know I've printed these bits off as you saw um, so yeah so they're the two options that I've got um, what I'm going to do off camera is obviously have a little have a little mock around play to see if things fit um i won't actually do the final fit until i record a video again but i want to just see on camera or sorry see off camera that they fit um because if it doesn't fit then i won't do it i'll do richard's design um and we'll do all of that on camera and we'll have a look at that and see how it works um so yeah so that's the what that's the next upgrade we're going to do the hot end uh, and they're the options that I've got for doing it. Uh, if I just, I did, <laughs> did play around with actually designing a replacement bracket with the the modification already done. But as you can see, it just wouldn't, it wouldn't have had the strength needed to support the hot end and the the extruder and the stepper motor etc so that would have been let me see if I can auto orientate it properly for you so that would be that way round that would be the back of the bracket the extruder motor or the stepper motor sorry would have set, sat this side but because of the orientation of the print you know there's no no strength there at all um, so there wouldn't have there would have been flexibility as well which could have caused problems so 
that wasn't an option. Um, so yeah, so that's basically the hot end upgrade that we're going to do. Uh, I just want to show you actually if I can find it, if you just bear with me. Um, I've got uh, another design that I, or another upgrade or modification that I've done, which is this. It's called a nozzle magazine. I really like it. It's really clever. So it's basically, let me get that on camera. So it's basically a round um, print that you screw the nozzles into and they actually do screw in. I've actually tightened them down, but there's actually threads on the inside of each hole. And they, these have got sizes on. I mean, that doesn't really matter too much because I've, I've got different size nozzles than than the, the parts that are printed on there. But I thought that was really clever. So I just want to see if I can find that um, design. Let me just log in here. Do, 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 do. Um, and then we'll have a look at the, the actual model. There we go. Nozzle mag. I thought that was really clever. And it's made, this person's used it on an uh, alt make alter alt maker it's not really loading up very quickly but there we go scroll a bit there we go so it's a like a nozzle mag I thought it was really clever yeah so that's another one that I've done and is on gonna be on the printer just wanted to show you that before we end so yeah so that's really it for today um, I'm going to have a play around off camera, see if those things fit. And then in the next video, we'll be looking at actually fitting that upgrade. Um, and then in future videos, we're going to be, or the videos after that, we're going to be looking at firmware upgrade because of the new hot end. Uh, and also we're going to play, not play, but we're going to sort out the bed issue, the heated bed issue I've got. The issue I've got, if you heat it too much, it just, the, there's no play in it, it sticks and causes layer shift and all sorts of problems. So that's going to be addressed in another video as well. Uh, so that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Uh, please consider leaving a like if you enjoyed the video. Please comment below if there's anything you want to ask or comments you want to make. Uh, and until next time, keep on printing. Thanks for watching.